What do you think? Turn it the other way, Dad. Turn the wheel the other way. It's not too bad out there as far as weather. It's really windy, though. There really is nothing worse than fishing in harsh wind like this with the potential of uh, getting caught in a storm out in a boat. Well, it's a little windy. What do you think? So I'm gonna go up into that cove where we ended the day. Okay. All right. We should be safe from the wind. It's, we're on one of the islands right now, and it is just gorgeous here. Look at this. It's a flounder. I always catch a flounder. <laughs> Not happy about being in the shallow water, I'll tell you that. Tighten up the drag just a tiny bit, I think. It might be too loose. Let him take it. You're alright, you're alright. Let him make sure there's enough drag for him to pull though. Oh boy. What? There's not enough. Yeah. Oh, weird. <laughs> Was that a big pinfish or something? What the hell? <coughs> oh, it's a ray? Besides the flounder, we just had our first significant bite. It looked like it was pulling like a red, maybe even a big uh, black drum, but I think the drag was set a little weird, and once it started pulling out, it, it eventually just got off the hook. It wasn't hooked as well either, so I don't know. What do you think, Dad? Well, it, it hit pretty hard, but it went... It hit like a red where it just yeah. takes the bobber. So hopefully we'll get another shot at it. Was there? Yeah, I saw a couple of big rays. There you go. Oh, shark. Yep. Oh, it's a little hammerhead or a, or a bonnet. I can't really tell. Can you bring them here? We decided to switch spots out of that little cove because it's just too windy. We couldn't stay in position. Uh, high tide is getting there too, so we couldn't see the structure as well. So we parked on the beach where me and Chloe caught a ton of redfish a couple years ago so it's nice it's, it drops off to about four feet so hopefully we'll catch something here yeah baby redfish catfish a little rough out not a whole lot of places to fish today because of it
What do you want me to do? Put the motor down, Dad. Get on and just back it up over here. You gotta turn it on. You're going reverse. Turn it the other way, Dad. Turn the wheel the other way. Okay. Alright, you're good. You're you're right, but I'm not we're not messing with it. It's not our boat. How do you think? Well, we survived another squall. <laughs> we made it back. But it was a, say a mediocre day. I don't even call it a bad day because we caught a couple things, but I don't know. Shark. A couple sharks. Yeah. Dad caught a catfish. No. <laughs> uh, you caught four catfish. A ray. That big bonnet head you caught was good, oh, though. Oh, you got a flounder. Oh, yeah, the flounder. Nice flounder. It was a nice flounder. It was a keeper. All right, so we're, this is the end of our Cedar Key trip. We are done. The weather just kind of blows anyway. Um, Good so, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we're gonna drive down to Boca Grande where we got a waterfront hotel. Hopefully the weather isn't bad all the way down the coast. It'll be nice to get some fishing in tonight at the pier with the snook light because there's tons of snook there. So yeah, that's the plan. So that's it. We're on the road now. Right. And you can get into a school level. I mean, you can just keep pulling them things in and I guess I, I would say out of the three, I mean, I love snook fishing. They're, they're, yeah, I love it. But I think, and I love trout fishing. But I think, I, I well, caught, you saw that sea trout that we saw like, oh well, my over god, in Stewart. That was, that thing was huge. So, so big. I thought it was a, a giant snook. I've never, yeah. I mean, that was crazy. That was a, that was a big fish. <laughs> That's like potential record setting right here. So here we are in Boca Grande Bridge. Cool. Um, here it is, looks good, I'm gonna go grab some bait and get to fishing. There's the train trestle, we'll be fishing on the far end of it. We're on Boca Grande Beach, looks fantastic, doesn't stink like last time. Uh, looks like this guy was just about to catch a fish, there's a whole dark patch over here, looks like a school of fish, I can't really tell, but I'm gonna cast over to it and see. We're leaving Boca Grande Beach because wasn't very productive. I caught one whiting. Didn't have much time anyway because we want to get to the pier before it gets too dark so we can kind of get set up. So it was beautiful. The water was warm. It's a little choppy and windy. Strong, very strong current, which should be very good for the pier. Uh, we will see. We are at uh, Boca Grande Pier. I don't know how much light we're going to have for filming the fishing here, so I'm doing a little bit now and Obviously, we'll have pictures, so maybe the light will be enough to see, but otherwise, I will catch you later. We are on Boca Grande. I already caught one nice snook off a pilchard under this light, but they fed for about 10 minutes and then completely stopped. There were some big ones too. So, I don't know. We got shrimp going now to see if they start biting again.